A blessed day to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, those who are joining me here in the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, and also to those who are joining us in our Mass today through our live streaming. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Today is the first day of the month of November, November 1. And as we start the month of November, we start it with the celebration of the Solemnity of All Saints Day. Todos los Santos. A little bit background of the history of our celebration this morning, All Saints Day. This feast of All Saints Day was instituted by Pope Gregory III when a chapel in Rome was consecrated to all martyrs in the Basilica of St. Peter. Before the celebration was only in Rome to co commemorate all those who were persecuted because of their Christian faith the martyrs of the church but in the time of Gregory IV in 827 to 844 he extended this celebration to the entire church and for Pope Gregory IV we don't only remember all those martyred because of their Christian faith but we commemorate all the holy people of our church the abundance of holy people in our Catholic Church commemorating all the saints known and unknown lahat ng santong kilala at especially those who are known uh, unknown but they live out their Christian faith until the end of their lives known marami tayong kilalang mga santo like Saint Francis of Assisi Saint Therese of the Child Jesus Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and Saint Pedro Calungsod our two Filipino saints Saint Father Pio Saint Jude these are known saints because they were canonized by the church. Their feast days are written in the liturgical calendar. They were canonized because of their miracles, because of their exemplary life. But there are only few known saints. Ang napakarami ay ang mga unknown saints. Holy people of the church, martyrs or ordinary people like us, not canonized. They don't have even done any miracle, extraordinary miracles, or not written in our liturgical calendar, but recognized by the church, and we believe because of their holy life, their exemplary life, they are now with God in heaven. Because of their holiness, and because of their faithfulness to God, they are considered to be saints in heaven. That's why that is the, our celebration today. Lahat ng mga Christiano, Katoliko, nananampalataya sa Diyos na nasa langit, are considered to be saints. In the first reading, St. John described this, those people who are sharing the glory of God in heaven. St. John said, I had a vision, a great multitude, which no one could count from every race, nation, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. A beautiful imagery of St. John, what is happening in heaven. All those people who are in heaven are considered saints from every nation, from every people and tongue, sharing the glory of God. And this is also part of our Christian faith. We profess our creed at sinasabi natin sa ating profession of faith, there is the communion of saints. We know the unity of the living and the dead, the communion of those in heaven and on earth. Naniniwala tayo sa pagkakaisa ng sangbakan, hindi lang dito sa mundo, but also those who are in heaven. The communion of saints. Usually, pag hindi pandemia, tayo mga Filipino, we go to the church, we go to the cemetery, and also here in the church to offer masses for our departed loved ones. Bakit hindi bukas, Father? Usually, dapat nga bukas because it's all, the, all Souls Day. But for us, I think why we commemorate our loved ones, and if it's not pandemic, we go to the cemetery and visit our departed loved ones who have gone ahead of us because we believe that they are also saints now in heaven. 
we pray also for them that now they are gone, they can also share the glory of God in heaven like all the saints. Maybe that's the reason why we always remember departed loved ones on All Saints Day to pray for them and to, that we believe that they also share God's glory in heaven. What is the reminder and challenge for us living in our celebration of All Saints Day today? First, our All Saints Day celebration reminds us that our life here on earth is not permanent. Our true lasting home is in heaven, in God's kingdom. The saints reminds us that we have a permanent dwelling place in God's kingdom in heaven. And this is very obvious today as we face the pandemic because the pandemic reminds us how fragile our life is. Kung gaano kahalaga ang buhay ng isang tao ngayon sa isang iglap ng isang virus, nawawala, natatapos ang buhay. Ang buhay hindi permanente dito sa mundo. But the good news is, we all strive to enter God's kingdom, our permanent home. The saints reminds us, don't only look down here on earth, but strive to look up that our destiny will reach heaven. That's why every day of our life, my dear brothers and sisters, paggising natin sa umaga, lahat ng ating ginagawa is our preparation for our entrance to the great feast in heaven together with all the saints. Every time we wake up, it is a reminder for all of us that we are only pilgrimage here on earth. Naglalakbay lang tayo dito sa mundo, hindi tayo permanente dito. And our pilgrimage here should eventually lead us to our destiny and that is to be with God in heaven. As we visit to those who are allowed to visit the graves of their loved ones, and as we pray for our departed loved ones, we could realize that death is a reality in our life, the great mystery of death in our sa ating buhay. But our greatest hope as we look beyond death is that there's an everlasting life with God in heaven. When you look at the tomb, the marker of your departed loved ones, if you have opportunity to visit the cemetery, sa lapida, dalawang date ang nakalagay. First is the birthday, kung kailan pinanganak yung tao. And the second is his death anniversary, kung kailan siya namatay. And you know, looking at these two dates, it reminds us, reflecting on it, it reminds us na meron pala tayong dalawang birthday. We have two birthdays to celebrate. First, is our birthday here on earth. We all, while we are still alive, we are celebrating joyfully our birthday, ang araw na tayo pinanganak dito sa mundo. But our second is our birthday in heaven, when we die. Most of the saints, if you try to reflect, we celebrate their feast day not on their earthly birthday, hindi sa kanilang kapanganakan. I think the only feast day that we celebrate is Saint John, na kanyang kapanganakan is Saint John the Baptist, Mother Mary, and our Lord Jesus Christ. But lahat ng santo ipinagdiriwang ang kanilang feast day sa kanilang araw ng kanilang kamatayan. Because that is their birthday entrance to God's kingdom. Their birthday in heaven. That is a very good reminder that we need, we need to strive in our Christian life, in our Christian faith, that we don't only celebrate our birthday here joyfully here on earth, but we hope and strive that like the saints, we, also, we can also celebrate joyfully our birthday in heaven when our earthly pilgrimage will end. The saints reminds us to look forward to our second birthday, which is to be with God in heaven where there will be eternal happiness and forever peace. Kaya magandang pagnilayan. When you visit the dead, there are two birthdays. Your birthday here on earth, but that's not and only. What is important in our Christian life that our saints reminds us, ang pinakamahalagang birthday ay yung may, di, may pagdiwang natin ito kasama ang Diyos sa langit. Our birthday, our entrance, 
in God's kingdom. That's why in our responsorial psalm it says, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. That is our prayer today as we celebrate All Saints Day habang birthday pa natin sa mundo ang ipinagdiriwang natin. But we look, we are people who look forward, longing to see also that we can celebrate our birthday with God in heaven together with all the saints. Second reminder for all of us, as we journey here on earth and as we are being reminded of our birthday in heaven like the saints, let us then strive kung paano tayo makapagdiwang ng ating birthday sa langit. How to enter God's kingdom in heaven. That like the saints, we look up. Our saints, our models, our heroes of Christian faith, kung paano tayo makapasok sa langit kasamang Diyos. If you try to look and read the lives of the saints, they are just ordinary people gaya natin. They're just living a life here on earth the same as what we are doing. But they live an extraordinary faith and obedience and love to God. And most especially, isinabuhay nila yung aral ni Yeso Cristo about the Beatitudes, our gospel today. They were meek, humble, dependent on God, simple in their lifestyle and live a holy life. They live the what it means to live a blessed life by following the Beatitudes of the Lord. St. John Vianney said, All saints did not all begin well, but they all ended well. All saints did not all begin well, but they all ended well. Saints are ordinary people, sabi ko nga kanina, even sinners like us, but was transformed and live a blessed life. Saints are ordinary people, but has an extraordinary love for God and live the gospel even in the moments of their sufferings and challenges in life. All the saint, All Saints Day is indeed a reminder, my dear brothers and sisters, to spend a quality life, not a quantity life here on earth. Ang sekreto ng pagpasok sa karya ng Diyos that you count not your quantity life, how much you have, how powerful you are, how famous you are, kung sino ka dito sa mundo, anong meron ka dito sa mundo. But the saints reminds us to live a quality life, to live a meaningful life, to live out a true Christian life, to spend a life of blessedness here on earth so that we can also spend a blessed life in heaven with all the saints. Saintliness, remember this, saintliness is equated with blessedness, and blessedness is being graced and favored by God. Gaya ni Maria, sabi natin, Hail Mary, full of grace. Why Mary is full of grace? Because He lived a blessed life. He lived a quality life according to God's plan. The saints are blessed, graced, and favored by God because of their holiness of life, because of their obedience and faithfulness to God, because of their quality life that they spend here on earth. Sana, this is our prayer as we celebrate All Saints Day that we live a blessed life, a holy life, because of the grace of God, because of the quality life that we spend every day of our life. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate All Saints Day, we pray through the intercession of the, all the saints that we can share also the favor of God in heaven. In our Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 1042, it says, Heaven is the ultimate end and fulfillment of the deepest human longings, the state of supreme and definite happiness. If you want to have true happiness, to have a love that is forever, makakamit lang natin ito if we look forward to be with God in heaven because that is our destiny. Don't aspire that your names are written here on earth to be honorable, that they would recognize your actions, etc., etc., to be star here on earth, 
never mind if they do not recognize you here on earth. What is important that your life will be recognized with God, by God, and written in the book of life. Because that's our ultimate end, like all the saints, to be with God, sharing His glory in heaven. That is our goal. That is our vision as Christians, to reach heaven and be with God, to see God face to face. And that is impossible, even in our ordinariness of life, if we live a blessed and holy life. Amen.